For this character, I want to create an easily identifiable villain. Before I begin, I already have a vague idea of how I want his face to read. In a sketch prior to this drawing, I decide I want his face to appear slightly masked with a metal plate, as well as have mechanical devices surrounding his head. Working with his pose, I'm not too sure if he has a completely menacing look about him. It looks more like he's hung on a rack or bound to a wall. However, I find his exposed stance quite disturbing. Furthermore, he's looking directly at you, as if to let you know he has no problem existing in a pained form. Interested in the way his eyes stare, I consult Jack Tresseter's book, Symbols and Their Meanings. In Western symbolism, the right eye is active and solar, the left passive and lunar, a system reserved in Eastern tradition. Egyptian myth held that the lunar eye of the sky god Horus had been restored after its destruction in a battle with Set, the god of disorder and sterility. A story that accounts for the popularity of the weird jet eye symbol as a protective device on amulets. Eyes were also painted or carved on Egyptian tombs to protect the dead in the afterworld. Winged eyes in Egyptian iconography represent north and south. Within Western tradition, both hands and eyes have differing meanings depending on whether you are talking about the left or right one. I wanted to bring a strong mechanical aspect to the design, looking to get away from drawing vague representations of materials. I look to a modern day object for inspiration. I find a picture of a Harley Davidson motorcycle. I appreciate its wheel guards and appropriate these shapes for the character's shoulder pieces. Looking at the inner mechanics of the motorcycle, I decide to attach some sort of piping to his mouth. This acts as a respiratory support. The tubing attaches to an oxygen canister on his hip. By sourcing more parts from the Harley Davidson, I design the left arm accordingly. Using this method to inspire, I find that I can make the design a lot more focused and interesting. I want to consider future found objects to act as a centerpiece for a character's look. Doing so creates new shapes to apply and a more original and identifiable character.